The barn's next arrival, Adam Kearns, has brought along an unusual and treasured gift for the attention of jewellery restorer Richard Talman. Hello. Hello. You must be Adam. I am. I'm Jay. Hi, Adam. Richard. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What, what have we got here? This bracelet. Wow. Who's, whose is it? Is it yours? That was my mum's. Right. Uh, she got it before I was born in, uh, in America. And mum's name? Mum's name's Mary. Was Mary. But she's not with us anymore? No, I lost her in 2016. Sorry yeah. to hear that. She was, um, like, the most kind-hearted person. She just, like, lived to give, you know, even on her deathbed, she was, like, giving away her Wellington boots to a friend of mine. And, like, you know, we just, even in that state, was just, you know, positive and giving. She gave me that when I was 21, and I was going travelling for the first time. Right. She dropped me off at the airport and right. then just pulled it out of her pocket, uh, put it straight on my wrist, yeah. and there uh, I travelled around Europe and then went to Central America and then went to America. It always seemed to, like, attract people to me. And then was coming back to the UK and changed planes in Miami and the security guard ripped it off my wrist and said, like, you have to take that off, and it broke at that moment. I've actually got very few, like, uh, photographs of my mum. The few things that I do have, obviously, are really important. And, you know, it's a little bit of my mum on my wrist when I wear it. Yeah. It'd mean a lot if I could be wearing this still. OK. We've got to get that fixed then, haven't we? We have. Huh? Yes. So it goes straight back on the wrist. Thanks. I'm going to get Kirsten to have a look at the stones for you. OK. OK? OK, great. Don't worry, it's in safe hands. Right? I trust you. OK. Adam, thank you for bringing it in. Good luck. Yeah. Thanks very much, Adam. You're right, you take care. <laughs> So uh, my intentions on repairing this bangle, where the bangle had broken the first time around, it's been repaired by just putting some small struts on it. Whoever repaired it used a very, very low melting temperature solder. On a bangle like this, where it's squeezed a lot to get a perfect fit, it's just causing it to flex at exactly the wrong point. So for my repair, I'm going to ensure that we use a piece of metal that stretches around the whole top of the piece, making sure that in those weakest points, it's got the double strength and security of that extra bar. I've got no other choice than to use a, a hot solder on this, which will be almost 1,000 degrees, because I really want to ensure that Adam will never have to worry about this breaking again. Things are definitely looking up for the bracelet, with just one task remaining until Richard's work is done. So I've now got the two stones set back in. I'm really, really happy with the results. Just looking at this bangle now in comparison to when it came in, I'm so excited about showing this back to Adam. A parting gift from Adam's mum the bracelet kept him safe on his world travels, only to suffer two misfortunes itself. Hi, Will. Will that do the job? Perfect. Adam's returned to the barn to collect his cherished lucky charm. Hello, Adam. Good to see you again. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Will. Hi, Will. You look kind of nervous. I think I am because, yeah, I had some time to think about, yeah, the bracelet and what it would be to have it repaired. Um, it's made this a bit more powerful than I thought, actually. No more suspense. Come, Richard. Wow. That's unbelievable. It's, it's like you've given me the bracelet when my mum bought it. Yeah. It does feel like she's, yeah, that bit closer. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. It's really lovely to be able to mend something that also has memories, so uh, that's what makes our job worthwhile. Thanks, Richard. Thanks, Will. Thanks a lot. <laughs> thanks, Kirsten. It's been a pleasure. All right. See you. For a brief period, I've worn it for 20 years. She's, like, with me again, in a way.